Hey, hey, Jace! Welcome back to my Macross Reactions. We're going to be watching Super Dimension Fortress Macross episodes 31 and 32 as well. I'm thinking of actually moving the movie a bit later because, first of all, this is like an extra slot I put up, so uh, I can I can pretty much just do whatever I want with it. But also, the fact, the fact that um, uh, I might need to do the uh, Cowboy Bebop movie in the same week as this, uh, as this, as this show's movie, and uh, I don't think I'll have enough time for that, so I don't know yet. So, other than that, let's talk about last time. Last time, we got into the aftermath of everything, and then, uh, I don't know if I like the fact that, um, Kaifun is showing that he's more of an asshole than he already is, and then, um, yeah, and then, uh, it's, it's, it feels like they're gonna go into the direction where Min Mei and Hikaru are actually gonna end up together when the, the the their arc is actually complete in terms of the romance it's just the romance but uh highest i still ship him with high essay so uh yeah and then um we used the power of smooching and the power of cute little babies to fight against the zentradi and it's great uh also that guy i forgot his name the guy that's like a captain or something the zentradi forces and that attacks his allies at one point uh he's coming for us so yeah, that's the thing. Min Mei is looking for her reason to keep singing, and uh, that's great. <laughs> Other than that, I want to see more high essay. I want to see more. Yeah, okay. I, I think that um, I think that this show not really needed, but definitely is okay to have uh, extra episodes like this. I think it's okay. I think it works really well. So we're just gonna watch this. There's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. A picture-in-picture -picture version which you can find in the description below. And a Time and Beast version which you're watching right now. If you want to sync up your own media to the Time and Beast version, you can do that with a 5 second countdown. It's gonna count down from 5 because that's what they do. And at 0 is the same frame. My video is playing on my screen. Timer will go here. Let me just sit like this. That's a lot better. If you're already set up babies, you can back on YouTube, check those out. Thank you to the Patreons to get this video so we can early. Thank you so much. Uh, names to the beginning and end. Macro no sora wo suayu ite. Nagyon sanai jinu idi. Makuros, Makuros. Don't I don't know the lyrics. Will you love me tomorrow? Makuros, Makuros. Excuse me. It's not in my system still. It's been a weeks. It's been weeks. It's really annoying. It's episode 31, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna scoot over a little. Okay. Oh yeah, the supervision army. I forgot about that. Mass weapon production, okay. We're making bots. Mechs, not bots. Those are very different.
啊。OK， 我们的 right episode right， I don't remember where we ended off exactly last time， but I know we're at episode thirty one。What is it? Is that Higaru? He hasn't said anything. That's why I was asking. <laughs> What? Mean me? Volume sprints. Woo! I hate your voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Ne. <laughs> ah, I say. Freaking like I say. Seriously, Min Mei annoys me, <laughs> but she's an interesting character. But she annoys me. So I'm okay with it because it's interesting. What? Nah. Huh? <laughs> That's sexist. <laughs> Everybody's gotta argue. Oh no! Ah! I don't know what to say. This this feels like a very. This feels like an episode again where the fight feels forced, where it doesn't feel like they should be fighting at this moment, and we're just doing action for the sake of action. We did that a few times, but sometimes it. But this feels the most like that. Broke his face. Right. <laughs> This guy, they want to talk about in the intro. I don't remember his name. I like him. I hope I will like him more. That's what I mean. Because this is the perfect moment for him to shine. Was there a weird echo? Whatever they talk. Hmm. Uh. 
Oh wow. I thought uh you can't do that because no culture. Wow. Wow, what are you manipulating him to do? Okay. Then, 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 then. Minmei! Look at her face. She's strong to be so pretty and very soldier esque. Mm. That's good. Oh, that makes sense. Is that Typhoon? Yeah. Fuck you, dude. Ah. Uh. This feels like a. This feels like a political debate on Twitter. <laughs> or someone was just like. We need to stop them from killing people with this device. Yeah, but they should be allowed to use the device. They're not free to do it. Fuck it. I really freaking hate you. I hope we get to see why he's like this. That's the biggest thing about this uh, Aftermath stuff. Yeah! This, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. I... Kaifun, I freaking hate you now. Like... At first you were the interesting kind of hate. Now it's more like, you're just being annoying. But then again, there's a very real comparison to be made with how people tackle these kinds of situations in the real world. So, the g Please don't let them be together. Ah... Uh, okay, I'm gonna say this right now. If Mikahigaru and Minmei ends up together in the show, I'm gonna lower the score that I give this of minus a one by one. I'm gonna subtract one from the score I'm gonna give this <laughs> out of ten. So yeah. I wasn't on cue. Sorry. It's all about typhoon.
Solider. Nice, nice, nice typo. It's not Hama subs anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> One of the first uh, OGs in terms of um, fan subs. Gonna take it. Yeah, that jerk Kaifun, that motherfucker, that piece of shit, that asshole, that douchebag. <laughs> okay. Ah, performance, okay. Nice. Uh, thinking about Hikaru. Oh, that's that's not what you're thinking about. There we go. Someone put it together. What do you mean over nothing? <laughs> no, it's got everything to do with you. You riled them off like fuck this guy. <laughs> I want to know why he acts like this. If we know why he acts like this, I can accept it. <laughs> if there's a good reason for it. Wrecked. Explode. Kaboom. That's a pretty explosion. Oh, good, man. What's the bad news? Yeah, we need something harder. We need uh, whiskey. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay. That was itchy. My ear was itchy. Sorry about that. 500,000. Okay, backstory. More like lore, but still. Flashes, epilepsy is fun. That's fucked up. That's even more fucked up. And also kind of ironic. Alright, we're back here. What was it? That's a very risque poster there. Oh my god. Let's do it slow mo to make up for uh, the animation budget. <laughs> it's not too impressive. Ooh.
ya. Okay. Yeah, that's what he was suggesting. Excuse me. Wow. That's fucked up. We actually got really dark in this. The history of them is really dark. Pretty much all of history is dark, but still. Sparkles in the water. Neat. Ha. Huh. Igaru is not going in. Just pretty much immediately. Uh, we're doing the song. Okay. Uh, why am I so yawning again? I wasn't yawning a lot earlier. Excuse me. Makes me blow my nose more. More mucus because yawn. That is true. I agree. I agree though. Like someone out there is still gonna do some fucked up shit and you're gonna have to stop them. Well, everything's destroyed. I just want Higuru to go out there up to Kaifun and say, See? What I tell you, you son of a bitch? <laughs> huh, interesting. We're gonna turn more in my clothes into giants. Um, <laughs> did you drinking orange soda or something? Well, that's a sad thing to do. Let's talk about this episode. Are we done? Satan dolls. Satan doll. Let's 
Let's talk about this episode. I think we're done. I think. Not entirely sure. What's that? What's that? Who's that? Who's that? Donald from Manhattan? Is that you? Let's talk about this episode. Uh, okay. Interesting episode. Uh, I want to say that um, first fight was okay. It makes sense that it happened. It's to show that uh, we're gonna we're gonna have another fight later on. That is actually the one that it matters the most. So I guess that works. Even though I still feel like first fight was mostly fluff. Um, <laughs> so we're making it. So we're making weapons and all of our systems. Not all, but uh, a lot of our systems are down. So it's not very good. So that's and then uh, freaking. These three are gossiping about Min Mei and how she likes another person. And uh, it's probably Hikaru. That's why Haise is kind of freaking out. And I like the fact that everyone except for Hikaru just kind of figured out that Haise likes Hikaru. <laughs> I'm serious about subtracting one point if uh, if if uh, Hikaru and Min Mei ends up together. So I'm very serious about that. Because it felt so mature. It felt like an actual felt like an actually mature take on a love triangle where you realize that you have a childish crush and that's all there that there is to it and then there's also the idea that um min Mei likes kai Fun somewhat similarly because uh the moment kai Fun, i don't know maybe it's because kai Fun doesn't necessarily show his true colors immediately and now that he's basically a drunk little manager dude uh, showing his true colors, it feels like uh, Min Mei just changed his her mind about him. So I, when you think about it that way, it kind of makes sense that they end up together. But I just really like the concept of having such a mature end to to something like this, to, to something to something like a love triangle that is very immature, <laughs> and it's really interesting. So I like that a lot. Um, we're just gonna write something down, okay. Um, let's see. They're taking the mic clones, the mic cloning machine or whatever. This guy is introduced and then um, now he's important, I guess. Or he's the one that's gonna take the machine. But uh, also this dude decides to take it as well. Uh, why is, is she about to go to the bone zone with this guy? Um, I thought... I'm still confused about what their concept of copulation is. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm still confused about that. So maybe they do have to reproduce sexually? Then what's up with the whole concept of we can't have men and women together? Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's more of the romantic like side of things where it's like the connection instead of just sex in general <laughs> maybe and they do sex for the sake of uh freaking repopulation and instead of just you know uh, you know for the fuck of it <laughs> yeah get it for the fuck anyways um let's talk about this because this really annoyed me the f this really annoyed the fuck out of me with kaifun i like kaifun as a character to be honest like i don't I'd say even like him a bit more than Min Mei. <laughs> uh, which is saying a lot. But um, this bit here where it's like he's just being contrarian. And that's kind of how a lot of people are when it comes to political stuff like this. Is that we're just being contrarian and because it's cool. We're just being contrarian because that's better than actually just, just going with the flow or anything. Even though you're not even understanding what the flow is. Or if you can actually just be part of that flow without actually just uh, succumbing to it. That's, that's, yeah. But yeah, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because, you know, again, this is, this, this gets kind of political with the whole idea of, you could use this item right here, this machinery, to make it so that they can kill more people, but they have the right to have that machinery. It's like, Oh, it parallels so well into our world. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's that's something. Okay, I'm gonna get slightly political here, very slightly. But um, that's something you never got, and that's something that is why I always think that people who follow this kind of uh, thinking 
are just trying to be contrarians. And it's the idea that you just you have the right for stuff for certain things like like um I can't think of any example that doesn't turn this into something super political. I can't think of it. <laughs> but just the whole thing of having to do something that you think uh, uh, you should be able to do because you have the right to do it. That's kind of true, but you also have to understand that there's consequences to your actions. Like, if you want to kill someone, you're technically free to kill someone. Except when you kill someone, you go... You, you, you're forced into the judicial system and all that and then <laughs> that kind of stuff and that's kind of what I feel like you're trying to say here with this whole thing where Kaifun is the reason why I like Kaifun is because he parallels so well with certain people in our world and yeah and uh I don't know since uh, a lot of this is a majority of the people that, I, that watch my videos are Americans. I'm not talking about America. Just saying, <laughs> I'm even, I'm, I'm just saying this in general because I can say that the country I live in has similar people. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even though it feels like that, that's kind of the ring. That, that that feels like an attack on wherever you're living because it's relevant to most places. So, sorry. Okay. I want to talk about why Minmei couldn't say anything, and that's really interesting to me as well. Because, uh, again, I want to say that this is kind of the thing with a lot of people that know their shit, that actually know what they're talking about. Mostly will never, will never be able to say what they want, or just will be too scared to fight for what they think is right, because, because uh, the people that are opposing that are kind of overwhelming so they can't really do anything about it so I get the feeling that's what you're trying to say here so interesting stuff with Minmei um the more the show went on the more I like Minmei and I still don't like her she's still not one of my favorite characters in the show because god knows she doesn't I don't like her that much um, I like her though at some point I started to like her it's just that especially in the beginning she felt very childish and and later on, we actually learned that um, the way she handles things, like they're still childish, but it's it, it's you can tell that she's maturing, and that's kind of why I started to like her a lot more. I really don't like the fact that um, we're really focusing on the thing where Min Mei really likes Hikaru now. Uh, you know what I want? You know what I want? And this is never gonna happen, but I really want this to happen. I want Min Mei. And that Minmei. I want Hikaru to reject the fuck out of Minmei and be like, well, Hikaru just went and goes and says that, well, yeah, I liked you before, but after everything that happened, I kind of came to the understanding that it's not re really anything serious. So why should we do anything about it right now anymore? By the way, I have Hayase with me. Okay, that's never gonna happen. That's really never gonna happen, but I want it to happen because. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking hate this. Okay, that's, that's the one thing I actually genuinely dislike about this show right now is the fact that um we're we're uh, subjugating. Is that the right word? Uh, undercutting the the stuff that we set up at the end of uh, the show itself is apparently it ends in twenty seven. So yeah, I thought it ends in twenty eight. So. I'm pretty sure someone told me that it ends in 28 and someone later told me that it ends in 27. So yeah. <laughs> this bit is interesting. It's just them hugging. It's kind of cute. Even though I don't chip it. I really don't like that chip. I like that it's immediate. The moment that uh, they were like, okay, we got our machine back and they're like, um, okay, we're gonna take it. <laughs> okay, this is probably... This is probably the part... I was about to say part again. The part where I pretty much just went and said, Fuck you, he fuck you, Hyphen. Why how can you say that this doesn't matter to you? First of all, if people start rioting in this place, you're gonna be affected because you're at this place. Secondly, you're a huge part of actually not of everyone succumbing to the idea that not the the, the going against the military, basically. 
You're part of that. You initiated it. Ha! <laughs> Kaifun, you motherfucker. I I hope I end up to like Kai end up liking Kaifun. Because as I said, he's so interesting. He's so interesting that I want to like him, but I don't. But again, I like him because he's interesting. So I like him as a character, but again, this the whole thing of if Kaifun exists in real life, if a person like Kaifun exists in real life, I would want to punch the fuck out of them. <laughs> so yeah. That's what I mean by I hate Kaifun, even though I like Kaifun. So yeah, okay. And then we got the reveal that um Protoculture created the Zentradi as a means, as like weapons to make it so that they don't have to fight themselves, they're just gonna have to create giants. So that's interesting. And then that also opens up the idea that humans might have been created by the protoculture as well. Which also implies that the protoculture are very advanced and far more advanced than any of us right now. So that's really cool. Um, just war, world building and all that, it's really cool. Um, I don't know. And then we go back to the fight. The fight had nothing interesting in it in terms of animation and art. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm not the biggest fan of um, uh, this kind of art style. I think I said this in episode 1. I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of art style, but whenever they do put effort into something like an attack or something like that, they put effort into it. Like, it looks amazing, but sometimes, but not sometimes, but I'm not really the biggest fan of this kind of art style. So, I'm not gonna go through the art and animation that much. Yeah. Also, again, I said this in another video, but uh, I'm not very good at understanding how mechs are drawn or created through CGI. And at some point, I actually thought that all mechs are CGI. That's why I went and said that Gundam Witch for Mercury had CGI mechs, even though I had no method of actually, I'm not, I have no means of actually confirming that. So, <laughs> until I was told. So, yeah. And then we talk about it, and then Min May reminisces about the idea that she could have said something. And then Hikaru and Min May look up, look out at it for each other like that, and it's so romantic. Yeah, I hate it. Anyways, that's it for me for now. We're gonna watch another episode. Be right back. All right, episode 20, 32, I believe. Yeah, thirty-two. Give me a moment, making sure. Yep, thirty-two. Okay, we're just gonna go to subtitle file, okay, audio file, okay, go back to the very beginning and unmute. And we're gonna be watching episode 32 of Super Dimension Fortress Macross. It's gonna be timer based. If you wanna see this part, timer will go here. Just gonna sit like this again. It's a lot more comfortable for me. Throw to the baby, discussions back on YouTube. Macro no sora wo sura no ite Tai ga zi wa Ne da na kare ta Makuros Makuros no, you're seeing no, 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 This is uh, part of the OP is really slick in terms of animation. Will you love me tomorrow? Oroku, Kagayaku. Makuros Makuros Makros Okay, let's go Broken Heart, what a title We don't get the the intro bit with the recap. What is happening?
Missiles, nice. Where are they fighting? A talk. Oh, neat. Let's take it. Why is she here, by the way? Kamujin, the crazy one? Yeah, okay. Yahoo! Minnie! Oh, those giants. Just having fun. I really love the noises they're making. We're gonna get attacked. Mean Mei can never catch a break now, can she? Well, oh, it's this guy. Oh, no. Shoot him. Oh, I thought we were going to kill the guy. What are we doing with her? Excuse me. What's up? Warship. <laughs> wow. I, I was kind of chill about it because I know he wasn't going to do it. Come on. He's not going to do it. Do it to Kaifun. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Destroy Kaifun. Kill him. Okay, <laughs> what's going on? Look at her, she's having fun with Kaifun. Oh, 
Oh, that sounds gross. Oh no, it's Gulger! Fuck! Oh my god, his knees went weak. Oh, hey, that's better. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Fuck you. I mean, that makes sense. Shall I? Don't, don't, don't. Just lie. Just broke a few ribs or something. Oh my god! Did that cop say salsa? Sorry, that was a weird thing to ask. Yep, that's what he said actually. Oh, that's a good point. Excuse me, I'm yawning. Yawning. And yawning. Yeah. Was her hair different? Oh, that's that's a different person. Never mind. Roasty? Never had that. I want to try that. By the way, it's your girl. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his <Hess's> face. <laughs> she, he's so. You have a doll of her as well. <laughs> I'm freaking in love, I say. Oh, it has a favorite character. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, you're showing your two colors there. Ah. 
I think it would be the same. Higuro did save you a few times. He seems very worked up over it as well. So apparently, uh, highest is 19 or something along those lines. Somewhere around, the, around that number. That's kind of crazy. I, she looked like she's in her late 20s. <laughs> Ah, it's not made of forks. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. That is very much true, Main May. Thank you. You're forcing your own ideas onto them, and they don't really care. You're gonna make out! Of course. That's not how you make culture, but um... <laughs> While you're making culture. I'm gonna call it that from now on. Making, instead of making out, making culture. <laughs> Just when the culture was getting good. <laughs> I think you get over the fact of making culture. <laughs> That's such a good line. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down. See if I can talk about it. <laughs> That's great. Today's culture sure is tasty. My dick! Sorry. Sorry. I had to. It... Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Back here! They have an understanding of culture now, so maybe that's why it's okay for Lap Lapis and uh, whatever his name was to be together. My ears were itching, that's why I do keep doing this. It's so itchy for some reason. They're dancing! Sorry. Oh my god, those are huge. Compensating for something, dude? 
<laughs> oh, we ambushed them like that. Nice. It's pretty pretty. It's pretty. I like the explosions. I like nice code. Um, <laughs> low level run. Okay. Mean me, and she's naked in his mind, of course. Okay. Ah. I don't want you two to end up together, but ah. Yeah, now leave Kaifun. Leave him behind. It's okay. <laughs> Ever since last episode, I just started to hate a lot more. Dude! And there was no guarantee that if you were to give them a warship, that if anything, it would just increase casualties because there's, there's going to be another war. Six months! Damn! Hugs! Just friendly hugs! Very friendly hugs! Uh, why is there echo like this? <laughs> Oh, oh she, her arms aren't, okay. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. I, I'm still glad because Kaifun is getting cocked. And I love it. Even though I don't like this ship, I still like Kaifun getting cocked. Okay. Hey, he cares. Hang on. It's ruining the moment. I love it. Now we need to ruin the moment. What the fuck? Mm. 
Yay! <laughs> Look at it, I say. I say also got cocked. Oh no, it's actually me and me that got cocked, so when you think about it. Full on NTR this bitch. Ah. Uh, of course. Yay! And the sunrise! That's a very fast sunrise! It's like, yeah, I did it well! Got the. Got. Got. That's all about this episode. That was a fun episode. I enjoyed that a bit more than the last one, to be perfectly honest. Um. Let's talk about this. First of all, we start with an actual fight. We're getting the place, and then. Uh. Not really important that much, I don't think it is, so I'm not gonna talk about it. Um, that's the first person. Okay, um, the fact that the Zentradi have culture but also has the combination of that with what their culture is, what their form of culture is, which is just war, which is combined into a weird thing of it's a um, uh, humans that they're basically humans at this point. Like, like uh, very violent urges, but also the idea that uh, they can do, they can love, they can do things. That's kind of one of the in most interesting parts of this episode, is the fact that this bastard, I forgot his name, Kamuji, or something like that, uh, he actually cares for Lap Lapis. He actually cares for her. That's really interesting. Um, because we know that the guy kills people on his side. And this woman is probably in love or something along those lines. So that's really good. Uh, also, I want to say this right now. Making... <laughs> making culture... Sorry, that was too bright. Making culture is what I'm gonna call making out from now on. I'm just gonna say, oh, you guys made culture. <laughs> I'm gonna use that from now on. That's, that's great. Also, the line of... And just when the culture was getting good. It's just so like, like I, I I believe myself to be mature enough that if they were just to put that into like a regular old show, not an anime, let's say a movie or a TV series, and then they said like, uh, um, okay, um, they were they were making out. I don't think I would have laughed as much. Like th the way you just say it is so stupid, and it's brilliant in its stupidity so I quite like it <laughs> so yeah um Min Mei singing is interesting uh I remember an episode this is literally my first note because I remember my, an episode where uh Kai Fun asked Min Mei to keep singing while there was a, a battle going on which at that point I was like okay Kai Fun you might be cool because you might actually abide by what you believe in and make it so that uh, this one thing that can change a lot of things, which in this case is music, is something where you want it to continue to, to change, like to do something in this situation. But when you, when now that I look at it and what he does in the latter episodes and then this episode, it, he's really just a hypocrite. He's literally just all, all, all bark, no bite, really annoying. And I hope. I really want to know why Kaifun acts this way. Because a lot of the times, people that have similar ideologies toward, towards Kaifun have lived very, not fulfilling, what's the word, comfortable lives. Like comfortable to a fault kind of lives. Where, um, yeah, and uh, they actually couldn't uh, grasp the, the idea of war. Or just the idea that uh, people can have different opinions and those opinions can sometimes 
or sometimes not just opinions but needs and desires and sometimes those needs and desires will lead to uh, to a, a fight and that happens all the time not necessarily just a war but think about it like every single time some someone doesn't like someone there's violence sometimes involved so having someone like Kamuji or whatever his name was the the disentrality dude be someone that will not abide by uh, human like traits like a desire for peace like someone that is like there's definitely people out there throughout history that wanted wars that wanted to rule over the world that or just wanted just that in general the war itself in general so yeah just can't grasp at that and that's very interesting and that's why I still like him as a character even though I, I keep saying that I hate him I just hate him like that I already explained how but um, other than that if we were to have like a backstory for Typhoon like maybe he's a super rich boy that um, uh, that and something bad happens I don't know exactly what but let's just say that super rich boy something bad happens this kind of ideology is ingrained in him now. That would make so much more sense and I would like his character a lot more. But right now he's just interesting because of the parallels being made to, from him towards our reality. So yeah, it's kind of scary. <laughs> um, the idea that uh, this, they're celebrities is also interesting and how that would freak everyone out if uh, we weren't able to, to rescue them. Okay, what else do we want to talk about? Um, okay, so we're gonna talk about our plans. Hayes is here, Hayes is jelly, and it's kind of funny. As much as I like Hayes and as much as I want Hayes to win this love triangle, I am just so I, I'm just so attracted to, the, to her cuteness whenever she's jealous. And look at that guy over here, you can't see my mouse, I'm sorry. But look at that guy over there, I'm behind him. Behind her, he's like, oh, what is this? Ooh, 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 ooh. It's so cute. It's great. Um, uh, okay. And then this happens. We, ju we just he needs to learn that uh, it's not always that simple. So the world is not black and white. It's not just, uh, and not everyone is gonna live by what you believe in no matter how correct you think it is like yeah <laughs> like there's so many people that believe in so many wrong things but forcing your your things forcing the thing that you think is right onto them isn't the right move because that just kind of forces them to think that I need to fight for what I think is right and you need to fight for what you think is right for you so that just leads to more confusion and confusion that leads to more violence. So, interesting. Um, <laughs> freaking, I love this line. <laughs> That's a giant ass neck with four like turrets on it. That's amazing. The explosions are neat. I like the way they look. Typhoon going and saying that you should have just given them a war. No, that's not necessarily what he said. But but that's basically what he was trying to say. Is that you could have done a more peaceful approach, basically. But the thing is, it's not really sure whether or not they would give you back when uh, we give them a warship. And once we give them a warship, uh, there's a high likelihood that they're, they're gonna fight back and they're gonna attack again. More people are gonna die. Which one do you want? <laughs> like, some, sometimes the choices aren't so simple as people die, people don't die. Sometimes it's some people die or a lot more people die. So. <laughs> Isn't that the thing that uh, was debated upon on the whole thing about uh, the nuclear bomb? I was th I'm thinking of actually the the whole thing of uh, the trolley problem. I, I love the memes of that, but the trolley problem is an interesting dilemma. <laughs> uh, because it's such a simple dilemma and then it's so complicated at the same time. And this fits it fits here really well. Uh, the hugs! As much as I do not ship this, I still like the fact that um, uh, <laughs> uh, freaking Heise is like, Okay, Hikaru, do your job now. And 
He goes returning to his to his more bratty kind of childish self with the whole I'm not gonna do it. Me. It's so annoying. That not you know, that's kind of the thing where I was like, is Kai? It's a uh, Kai. Is Hikaru just poorly written? Because I was having this conversation on the comment section a few days ago with someone whose name I can't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't remember your name. But uh, some of the comments a lot on, this, on these series. Um. The thing is, I think about, um, uh, I was wondering whether or not I think that Hikaru in the first few episodes was just poorly written, or maybe Hikaru was just annoying. <laughs> like, like he's too childish in the beginning, and I, he just annoyed me. And this is reminiscent of that, where it's just really just kind of annoying. So, yeah, I guess that's it. My butt hurts. Do I record one more video or do I rest? I do not know. I'm gonna figure it out later. So, I guess that's it for me for now. If you want to see the next episode reaction and discussion with Hikaru Leader and everyone else, you can do that with the patient link below. It really help out. You don't have to, but if you can, I would really help out. That would mean the world to me. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff, and bye!